The mistakes that people make with eye contact fall into both the in-person environment and remotely. So if we take in-person first of all, the context for the importance of eye contact is that it is the most intimate, non-touching gesture that human beings can share. So what does that mean? It means that under pressure, eye contact is typically the first thing that goes. When we feel scared or frightened, it's often something that lessens. Equally, for anyone watching this who's got children, if we are speaking about a topic that's important for us with our kids, we'll want our kids to be looking at us. So in a professional context, context what we should be talking about and practicing is the skill of scanning. So scanning means a regular momentary eyeball to eyeball contact with every single person in the room. And we can do that even if it's a large room and we're doing a town hall or a presentation. We can practice looking at sections of the room and flicking our eyes around the individuals in that section before moving on. It is a skill. So like any skill, it requires practice to build muscle strength. We should make sure we don't focus on the individuals who are giving us lots of good visual positive body language, as tempting as that is, and we should make sure we shouldn't avoid the people who are giving us the blank face or the grumpy face. And we shouldn't avoid the individuals on the extremities either, because often when it comes to scanning, those folk on the edges are often left out. So there's a lot to think about in the in-person environment. In the virtual environment,